In different parts of the world, women and girls were never entitled to education. Unfortunately, in some conservative societies across Africa, education of women and girls is still unpopular and deemed a violation of cultural values. This is one of the problems that STEMPO is helping to address through its more than 100 STEM centers set up across Sub-Saharan Africa. In Rwanda specifically where the organization has established eight STEM centers, girls explain how the STEM centers are contributing to the realization of their aspirations. <laughs> According to Espoir Seruchiza, STEM power representative in Rwanda, girls and boys should have equal access to education, which is exactly what STEM power stands for. As STEM power, I really want to have girls in science, really, uh, as one of our DNA, and we want to see them uh, being elevated and doing what their uh, brothers are doing. And we, through that, we have a special programs for women in science and technology. Uh, that uh, here in Ines, for example, we're having many girls attending uh, the, the different trainings, uh, whether for STEM-related subjects, but also other entrepreneurship already happening uh, at this level. And uh, it's, 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 it's something that we really want to put in, um, in place and what to promote and in, across all our STEM centers that we have here in Rwanda. The contribution of STEM power towards equal access to quality education is also emphasized by the Vice-Chancellor of Ines Ruhengiri, one of the universities hosting STEM centers. Uh, STEM power is encouraging uh, our students to think in another way, to be innovative, to be creative, being practical actually. Uh, not remaining in the books, but uh, have a critical thinking. They are, they are able to think critically, but also working in the teams. Because they have, with STEM power, they have what they need, the material they need, and then the people who are able to train them. <laughs>